Amazon sellers struggle with October FBA capacity limits. Amazon sellers are facing unexpected challenges with FBA storage limits in October, despite being told in July that their capacity would double. Some sellers report a 25% reduction in storage limits, causing major disruptions in preparing holiday inventory shipments. With Amazon's new FBA capacity limit system combining restock and storage limits, sellers are left scrambling to adjust, especially those reliant on holiday sales. Uh, so myself, I did see a, a reduction in my storage fees. Now, I already had a quite high capacity, more than I've been using. So I'll be storage, fine. Did you but mean storage space? Reduction. Sorry? You said storage fees. Did you mean storage space? Storage space. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. The storage capacity that I have, I did see a reduction. Um, but I've got so much above what I normally sell, I'll be fine. But I'm curious if uh, Eric or anybody else have seen any reductions in their storage capacity. I, yeah. I don't. You have, Eric? It's, no, we actually saw the opposite. We were, but we were also at um, what the big when the big thing hit a couple of years ago, and everybody got blindsided by the reductions. Um, that put us in a really tough spot. I mean, we we had plenty of space, and then they hit us with. Sorry, not not no mo, and uh, but just in the last geez, two or three months, particularly in hazmat, we got uh, some extra space, and nice. in oversize, we got some extra space. We'll see what happens because we're we're heeding Brandon Young's uh, advice of get that get excess inventory out of Amazon before the third quarter, mm -hmm. and, and we don't see spikes. We're selling automotives. So we're we're pretty flat uh, in the fourth quarter as far as sales go. So we need to really be tight and buttoned up. But with that said, we, we were right up against our limits for probably a year in hazmat and in oversized. And we finally got, and it like we're talking, I think it was 10 or 12%. This, this was not 50%. It was just a little bit, but that, that was a big deal for us. And that, that's going to help us sell more for sure. And I don't, I don't actually know if we saw a reduction in storage. Um, I don't think so. But like Eric, so we're selling supplements, but our our sales throughout the holiday period they're 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 flat as well. There's no. Sometimes we see a little bit of a spike in December, uh, and particularly for January or in January for that uh, I'm going to be healthier this year. But it's it's not so significant that that we run out of inventory. Mm -hmm. So um, I've not seen any reduction myself. But again we have sold a similar amount for 10 years on this product, you know? Yeah. Amazon is, uh, uh, they implemented the, the ability for you to bid for extra storage, which is good and annoying. So hopefully uh, people bid for the storage that they need just in case if, uh, if they were tight before, yeah. Um, but I think what's frustrating that some people are seeing decreases is that in July, they did say that they were going to be increasing everyone's capacity. And now it, it sounds like it's kind of a mixed bag with some of us being decreased, some of us being increased. Yeah. They also uh, give you the opportunity to pay for a dedicated, terrible customer support person. So yes. thanks, Amazon. You can, you know, you want more of what we already gave you? Okay, we're going to give you less, and then you can pay us for what you had before. Yeah, we did that for a number of years. We just we cut them this mm -hmm. year because they wanted to raise the price. It was sixty thousand, which I thought oh, was God. fine, but our team thought it was ridiculous. And then they went to ninety thousand uh, for the year, and we just said, we just said no. It's crazy. I mean, you, you get a couple of perks with that, but I mean, come on, like those people, they don't. With well, maybe you're you're part of the executive team, Eric. So perhaps perhaps you guys have. I know I learned that there are five tiers of of uh, strategic account services, and executive gets tier four and five. But those people apparently are know something. But about eighty percent of the people that I talk to that pay for SaaS, they are very unhappy with the person. And they only keep them around because they can get them quick access to lightning deals or, you know, they can uh, mm -hmm. merge or decouple listings a lot faster. And that is literally the only reason that they keep them around. Leslie, I saw you pointing. So oh. it's, you know, yeah. 
uh, and and that literally costs them tens of thousands of dollars a year, fives to tens of thousands of dollars a year, just for that, a service that, sh that is already available to any seller and should not be needed. You should not be needing to pay for. Sorry. I went on a rant to totally change the subject, but that's. No, but you nailed it though. Yeah. You nailed it. But I, yeah. I've had team members who've been part of SAS core at Amazon and left Amazon and worked for us. And mm -hmm. they would tell you the only thing of real value is to have access to the deals um, yep. that other people don't have access to. So if you're a big seller and you rely on those deals or you make a lot of bank at Christmas from those deals, or you sign up a lot of new subscribe and save off of those deals, go for it. Uh, but, but you've got to really do serious volume to make $90,000 make sense. Good Lord. And yeah. they'll tell you, oh, well, you know, if you get suspended or an ace and taken down, we can escalate that. They can only escalate it after 72 hours, y'all. I mean, yeah, like, after, after you've escalated. already been. Yes, after you've been turned down. So, yeah, so, exactly. So like if you come to, to my team and not selling anything, I'm just telling you facts. Or if you know how to do it yourself, we, we can escalate something faster and get it resolved before our client is even allowed to take it to their SAS core rep. Yep. It's insane. It's insane. But yeah, Thank that's. You. That just goes to show now they want to charge you for space in their warehouse, which you're already paying for via fulfillment fees, mm -hmm. right? Now, Mr. Bezos has gone, your margin is my opportunity to, uh, your opportunity is my opportunity to charge you more. Yeah. <laughs> and what's really interesting with that is, so during COVID, they built more and more and more warehouses, right? To the point where they had too many warehouses, too much capacity. That's right. They laid and off like now they're starting people to close warehouses. And in the middle of that, then they introduce this cutting your, your, the storage that you have available and allowing you to bid for it. It's like, so which one is it? You don't have enough capacity. So we got to pay extra for it. Or you have too much capacity that you're closing warehouses. Yeah. 